Hi, my name is Molly Norcross, and I'm the Acting Associate Principal Horn of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra. This is the horn, sometimes also called the French horn, and it's part of the brass family. The brass family also includes the trumpet, trombone, and tuba. You will always see the brass section sitting way at the back of the orchestra, near the percussion instruments. Like all instruments in the brass family, horn players use their breath and their lips to produce a buzzing sound. We buzz into the mouthpiece, which helps to concentrate the sound. That vibration travels through all of this coiled up tubing and then is amplified at the end with this big bell. You can hear how the sound gets deeper, rounder, and much louder. We use the valves to add different lengths of tubing to the instrument. The longer the tubing is, the lower the sound it creates. So different valve combinations allow you to play different sets of notes. The horn only has three or four valves, but we have to play more than only three or four notes. This is where we use our lips with different air speeds and mouth shapes to be able to play very low and very high. What makes the horn distinct from the other brass instruments is the tiny little mouthpiece, the super long tubing, almost 18 feet altogether, the left-handed valves, and the very large bell, which points backwards. The horn has a very special sound that can blend with lots of different instruments, so we get to play lots of different kinds of music. We can play high. We can play low. We can play heroically. We can play sweetly and lyrically. I think the horn is a really fun instrument to play. I first started learning when I was nine years old, and even though it was sometimes very challenging, it was so rewarding to get better at my instrument and to play exciting music with my friends. I hope you learned a lot about the horn today, and be sure to look for me and the other horn players at a Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra performance someday soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!